it's a perfect night. The teams are ready. The referee is checking the clock. And we're pretty well ready to go. We're in his hands, and he's waiting for the signal from the side. Lines were just doubly checking the nets. They're in position. Dortmund, the older team, the better. The star, perhaps, of the Brazilian side. We're almost ready. So this is it, the 18th Toyota Cup, Borussia Dortmund and Cruzeiro Belo Horizonte. Germany versus Brazil, colourful club representatives of two great soccer nations. Both teams largely changed from the lineups which won their respective trophies in Europe and South America, which earns them the honour of playing here in Tokyo. Two trophies at stake, of course, the Toyota Cup and the old Intercontinental Cup, plus uh, quite a bit of money for the teams and the individuals. Dortmund, a new coach, many injuries, but still a very big name on the big occasion. Cruzeiro, a new coach, the nucleus of a new team. This is a restart from them. They haven't really played together at all. Let's see what they make of it. This is João Carlos at the back. Looking for Bebeto there, nice little touch. Paulo Sousa. Not quite falling correctly for Chapuisa out there and Zorc. So we've got uh, Heinrich on the left there challenging uh, Babetta. Ricardinho. A little bit of pushing and shoving by Vitor. No foul. Vitor does well, and then he is fouled. That's uh, a rash one by the German Heinrich. Vitor, who had a very good game for Sao Palace in the uh, Toyota Cup a few years ago when they beat Barcelona. It's Bebeto on the ball. We've got the two big defenders up there, including Gonçalves, another of the newcomers, and João Carlos. This is a first chance, perhaps, for the Brazilians. Stabbed away. And a great save by Klos. Fantastic save. Palacios, the Peruvian, really drove that in, through a ruck of players, and Kloss, the only non-international in this German side, did well to see that. Great save. Palacios again, he's right in the middle of it here. Paulo Salza, good play by the Portuguese. Nicely up to Chapuizar, but tight marking there by uh, Ricardinho. A sharp start by the Brazilian side. Feisinger to Reuter to Freund. They'll knock it around a little bit, just get a feel. Had a very good win their last match against Galatasaray in the Champions League. And 4 1 with Zorc coming on at, uh, just after half time and scoring twice. He's kept a place here. That's uh, Herlich nodding that down, but only to uh, Fabinho. Or Elivelton foul. It's a strange position for Elivelton here, the number six, the goal scorer in the Copa Libertadores, who prefers, I think, to play uh, farther up front. But you'll see him charging up down the left hand side to effect. Clayson in front of him. This is Gonsalves with Bebeto over the far side looking for it. Donizetti chasing this one. This is Donizetti, nicely held up. Clayson going down the left-hand side, dragging a defender away into trouble. Well played. Oh, and Merler, what a bad one, picked up and uh, uh, back heel by Andreas Merler that nearly put his side in big trouble. But better read it well. 
He's so anxious to make a mark in this side. He's had a, a wretched year or two. He's 33. He's just been recalled to the international squad by the Brazilian coach, Zagallo. He's really got to get his act together if he's going to get into the World Cup squad for France. Julio Cesar. Not a particularly good one. Germans so far have got nothing going. Zork is down that left-hand side. Chapuizar and Herrlich up front. Scala, their coach, has seen nothing that impresses him so far from his side. I told you would be a marked man by the close-up cameraman. Chapuizar is the front man. Herrlich is off of him if the ball goes down the line, but it doesn't, it goes square. So they've got time to build it up from the back. Feiersinger and Stefan Reuter. Freund comes to help him, and I suppose it will go back again. The Brazilian standing off and marking tight at the back, with Merla being picked up by Fabinho. This is Cesar. Paulo Salza. Now then, perhaps a little bit of room for the captain, Stefan Reuter. Closed down by Eli Belton and picked up nicely by Clayson. Palacios in for Bebeto, forward to Donizetti. Great play, good challenge by another Brazilian. Two Brazilians clashing there, the defender doing well. Excellent defence by Julio Cesar. Goncalves, a little bit of trouble almost. Jao Carlos nicely aside to Elevelton. This is where he likes to get forward. But Beto gives him it back again. He tries one. Oh, it's a swerving ball and a difficult one. They're not out of trouble yet. Now they are. Kloss punching away. Great effort. Heinrich to Salzer. There's a bit of room here. They've left a few gaps. Müller closed down nicely. Bad ball out, well picked up by Feisinger. Now Heinrich on the left-hand side. Oh, what a struggle, a physical struggle there. Jao Kallas gets in, Vitor is still there, foul. Free kick to Cruzeiro, quickly taken. Not from that position, though. Clayson to Elevelton, back to newcomer. Gonçalves, Jao Kallas. A completely new back four by the new coach in El Sino. The Brazilian side, Cruzeiro, did extremely badly in the Brazilian Championship after the Copa Libertadores. They were almost relegated, in fact. So he came in and said, right, that's enough. We're going to rebuild things. And uh, buying three players, most people think, for just this game is uh, against the spirit of the occasion, many people feel. But in fact, uh, they claim that uh, Bebeto is going to stay if they can raise the money, although his contract is owned by a bank. The other two might go. That's a free kick. Sharp tackle from behind. There's some man marking by both sides. Heinrich. Looks as if he might take it. Chapuis are feeling a bruise or two. Muller, no, is the key dead ball specialist here. Muller with the kick. Goalkeeper stays on his line, and it's safely seen over the goal line uh, by Gonzalez. Not particularly good, and there's no strong wind. So it's amazing that this Dortmund side, which has suffered through injuries, also suffered from the fact that they've had to change a lot of things. Oh, that looked a bit casual, but Beto fouled his man, but the referee allowed play to go on. Lovely control by Paulo Salza. Müller hooking it on. Over goes Chapuiza. Awkward bouncing ball. One by uh, Fabinho. Fabinho going in here. Free kick. Such a slight character, but such a powerful one. Ricardinho. The 
Jao Carlos to Bebeto. Oh, that's well picked up. Now then, Muller and Chapuisa. A great tackle by Vitor. Good defensive play. But they're so quick on the counter-attack. And there's a free kick here now to the Germans from a very inviting position because of that challenge on uh, Stefan Chapuisa. Now, we've seen now the ball has really swerved and dipped around uh, on a couple of occasions already. Is this a case for Andy Muller and his skill from a dead ball situation? Chapuisa is also a man for the moment. All the Brazilian players back. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Chapuisa? Muller. Great save by Dida. That was on its way. Good effort over the wall. Unsighted, but he had it covered and he needed all his height. 195. Chapuizar with the in-swinging corner. Cesar is in there. Goalkeeper stays where he is. Oh, it was a powerful header that uh, could have been on target. Heiko. Herlich with that header, although he was marked. Well, why does it happen? I thought it was closer. Palacios challenged by Feiersinger. What's a difficult ball, Bebeto, Bebeto turns, here's Donizetti's through! Oh, Klaus saves again, Donizetti's in there, oh, it's over! Extraordinary miss, great save, but he should have scored. Klaus has come to their rescue a couple of times already. Donizetti was put through, one against one, Klaus did a great job. Well, he's the man of the match so far. Gonçalves is in there. Up he goes. They're really biting hard for these. And Evelton in a similar sort of position from which he scored the winner in the Copa Libertadores, but that was with his right foot. But that was off target. That was a wonderful moment there for Cruzeiro. They should have scored, and it's newcomer Donizetti who missed it. Or was it uh, goalkeeper Stefan Klaus who saved it? Oh, Palos has a lovely little chip. Stefan Reuters goes in there and cut out beautifully as Herlich went for it. Jao Carlos. Okay, uh, the in-swinging corner again from Chapuiza. They've caused troubles already, particularly with uh, Heyrich in there. Cut out to Palo Salsa, the Brazilians push out. That was a uh, miscue. Elevelton, short ball. Ford on the left-hand side to Clayson. Clayson's on his way. And that surely was an elbow. Stefan Reuter with a clumsy challenge. About 13 minutes of the game gone, we've had some moments, but one that uh, Clayson would prefer to forget. Free kick then. Vitor has crept up from the back. Chose to play it square. Well, they're not too worried about having a shot from distance, but Fabinho there was uh, again uh, off target. Player who came from Flamengo and has had his career rejuvenated in a different location, different side. Fire singer looking for Stefan Freund. In for Chapuisa and. Uh, 
And that's Helig, not Chapuisan. Helig fouled. So it's Chapuisan, Helig up front. Zork is just beside him, and Heinrich over the far side. Good header away, but it's going to be picked up by Julio Cesar. This is Heinrich. Oh, that was a shocking foul. That must be at least a booking. Vitor really rushed in there when that ball was pushed away. And you can probably hear by those microphones close to the pit side that there's anguish here. Well, it's going to be at least a yellow card. That looked very rash and very late. Yellow it is for Vitor. I don't know what state uh, Heinrich is in, but he's still limping. Now the in-swinging corner from Andy Muller, and a dangerous one. Beautifully picked up by Paulo Cesar. Rashly back heeled, though. Clayson, nice ball to Eli Velton. Free on the right-hand side is Bebeto. That would have been a perfect opportunity. Couldn't hit it deep enough. And the coach, Nelsinho, knows that they've missed a few opportunities already. Elevelton tackled firmly. Herrlich, Sauser, Reuter and Freund get it down the right-hand side. Some tight marking and some tough tackling here. So Bebeto has combined well with Donizetti on a couple of occasions so far, but you've got to remember that these three newcomers have not played together in this side in the competitive match at all. Oh, Bebeto's going to get away from this one. No, the flag's up for offside. For a moment, it looked as if they got away with it. Linesman from uh, Korea and Japan. Was it offside? Difficult to tell from this position. Yes, that's the kick. And they came back into a, an onside position, but it was too late. Heinrich gets a second attempt at it. Zork. And almost through there was Muller. Foul on Muller by Gonsalves. Beautiful bit of quick play by Borussia Dortmund. Another free kick. And again, an inviting area. Gonsalves gets in there and stops him. The Spanish referee is uh, being fairly firm about things at the moment, but if it goes on like this, there's going to be a red card or two. Annie Muller, Chapuisa, Stefan Reuter on the ball. The referee stepping back. Stepping the, the distance out, bring the wall back. There'll be some yellow cars if they don't get a move on. They can't take it yet, though. And there's a gap the other side of the wall. This is very, very inviting for Muller and Chapuza. Here we go. Chapuza. It's the wall, can't get in the way. Now it's Palacios control. There's problems here. Yellow card, certainly, for Muller. Well, this is uh, bad temper spilling over. That was totally unnecessary. The ball had gone. He's been in trouble a couple of times through reacting. He gets in there. Now let's see what happens. Ball is cleared. Late challenge. Another yellow card. Gonsalves thumps it forward. Julio Cesar gets it back. Clayson with Reuter. Clayson does well. That's a foul. On uh, Fabinho. Quickly taken to Clayson again. Eli Velton goes down the left-hand side, dragging a couple of people away. Now they go into trouble. And a throw-in to Cruzeiro. 
Copa Libertadores winners in uh, 1997, of course, and in 1976, when in the old Intercontinental Cup they played another German side, Bayern Munich, and they lost. Palacios, lovely turn. Oh, overdid it. And he's helped out by Ricardinho. But in extremis. Feiersinger, the Austrian international, viewing like the rest of us the fact that this uh, goalkeeper's got to be retaken. We've always got to remember that Borussia Dortmund are missing uh, Jurgen Koller, Matthias Sammer, Butte, the uh, Russian who played well and scored in the Champions League game against Galatasaray last week, and Ricken, one of the heroes, of course, of their Champions League victory in the final over Juventus, scored that marvellous goal coming on uh, after 17 seconds as a substitute. Also missing, of course, uh, Riedlow, who scored twice on that occasion. He's been sold to Liverpool. So this is a much-changed side, and not necessarily one at full strength. But after being saved a couple of times by Stefan Kloss, their goalkeeper, they're taking the game, certainly, to Cruzeiro. Yeah. They shout a lot, certainly. And it's well picked up by those uh, pitch side microphones. Free kick. Muller. Heinrich is over the far side for the really deep cross. Herrlich is in there pretty tall. Heinrich goes for this one. Loses out to Vitor. Palacios couldn't get it in. Freund. Oh, Palacios, good challenge. Bebeto, nobody on his left-hand side, he has to go right. Gonçalves, there's space for him. And in goes Palacios, he's offside, but the movement was good. And the marking by the Germans, not particularly spectacular. Palacios, the number 10, has been very lively so far in the first 21 minutes. A lot of space there for Donizetti. But offside against the Peruvian. Bebeto in the middle of that one. But he's been out through injury. He's had the disputes with La Coruña, his Spanish club. So it's not been a good year for him. Palacios back to Elivelton. Bebeto. Nimble turn, but tough tackle by Stefan Reuter. Now Paulo Sousa, and it's a good move and well covered by Gonçalves. Scuppered away by the tall goalkeeper for another corner. But Beto is hurt. Challenge from behind, but legally, I uh, thought, but he's had so many injury problems. Tried to turn, you can see how he got a knock there. But it didn't look terminal exactly, but he's getting treatment off the field of play. The game will go on, they're down to 10 men. Cruzeiro, and they've been in trouble before from these corners as Chapuiza pumps it in. Eddie Velton clears, almost hitting uh, his injured colleague on, on the touchline. Not deep enough from Chapuiza. Beto seems to be fit again. He's not moving uh, too fluently at the moment, but better. But we'll see. Velton trying to get it down the left-hand flank, and uh, it almost comes now to... Well, I was going to say it almost came to uh, Feiersinger, but... Donizetti coming across to get hold of it. Clayson. Again, the control not quite good enough by Chapuizar. He fights back for it, though, and wins the throw-in. But the fluency 
of the German side isn't really there yet. And Bebeto doesn't look as if he's 100% fit either, which is a big worry, not only for him, but for Cruzeiro, having invested so much in bringing him into the side. Herlich puts it in, well away by Vitor, and it's going to drop to Heinrich. Heinrich had a chance to control that and pump it back into the middle. Heinrich and uh, two players. Well, the offside? No, said the linesman. So that would have been an opportunity. Ball kick there. Well, one might have been, but no, not those two. Neither of those two were offside when the ball was kicked. So a close shave for Dida in the Cruzeiro goal. Passive look from Nevio Scala, the Italian who speaks fluent German. He's married to a German, which a lot of people in Germany says is not particularly a good thing. Not the marriage, but the fact that he speaks fluent German because the players have been very critical of him during the course of this season. Other foreign coaches like Trapattoni at uh, Bayern Munich have uh, missed out on, on their, the criticism because they don't speak the language and been impervious to it. Scala has not been impervious to it and he's cracked down very heavily on some of the players who've complained, which is not totally unusual in German football, Merler being one of them. And Reuter another. But everything seems to be sweetness and light at the moment. They're pushing up the league. They're already qualified for the Champions League quarter-final. They got knocked out of the German Cup by an amateur side, but I don't think anybody's too uh, unhappy about that. And by the restart, the second part of the Bundesliga, they hope to have Jürgen Kohler back and one or two of the other injured players, but not Matthias Sammer, whose career is now questioned because of the seriousness of his knee injuries and the number of operations he's had. It's up to nine now. But this is number six, Eli Velton for Cruzeiro of Belo Horizonte. And Jao Carlos. Heinrich and Feisinger, pressure from Bebedo, not intense pressure though. Now Chapuza, bit of space to control, close down quickly, does well, turns away, he's got space and support, Palazzo picks up the loose ball, Zork, space now again for Stefan Reuter, Stefan Freund on the right hand side, now can he pump a decent one in? Well a lovely little dummy from Müller. It came a little bit too quick to Heiko Herlich. Good driven cross. Let it get through his legs and the hit way over the top. So we don't need to feel too sorry for the Borussia Dortmund side. They've got 10 internationals in they're 11 on the field at the moment, and the Kloss, the only non-international, has been outstanding so far. Oh, look at this, the Brazilians have won this back well by diligence, and then Bobeto loses it to Feiersinger and uh, Reuter. Now, Paulo Salza. Herlich goes down the right-hand side, Chapuza is in the middle, this is Herlich, just gives him back the return. Cut out by Vitor. His better play now by Borussia Dortmund. Feisinger, the Austrian. Stefan Freund and Eli Velton competing there. 28 minutes of the first half gone. Still nil-nil here, the National Olympic Stadium in Tokyo. Free kick. Foul by Fabinho. Another free kick. They're getting ever closer and ever more dangerous. Some rash challenges by the Brazilians. Very unnecessary. It's a long way out, but these guys have shown they can do some wonderful things with the curving, dipping free kick. And often the rebound can cause as much trouble as the direct shot. It's a big hit, I think, from uh, Andy Muller after the Spanish referee has sorted things out. Andy Muller. 
Well, it was rising and rising and rising. And almost went into the crowd. But they're getting too many of these opportunities. And one of them could yet cause major trouble. Gonçalves. Ricardinho beaten for pace and power. Zork and Ricardinho did really well to get back on that one. Gone out. Palos has a nice first touch and he surely was fouled. Yes, he was, and he complains bitterly, but the referee says play on. Palacios, superb. Donizetti. And a great through ball to Clayson. Germany are in trouble here as a Brazilian to pour forward. Heinrich did well to get back. Good build-up play though by Cruzeiro. Fabinho finds uh, Jao Carlos. Jao Carlos through the middle, uh, hopefully, for Donizetti too strong. Well, the movement from the Brazilian side is not as fluent as the Germans, but it's sharp when it happens. And Nelsinho, the coach, is uh, thrashing his arms up and down on the sidelines because of that movement that went wrong. But remember, these three new players have never played in this side before. Well, I don't know what your German or Portuguese is like, but we're very close to uh, some of the expletives there when things go wrong on those touch lines. Thirty-one minutes of the first half gone. We could have had two or three goals already, but it remains at nil-nil. Paulo Sousa, been the best midfield player so far. Stefan uh, Freund couldn't get it forward. Clayson beaten by Paulo Sousa, and off it goes. He's had a wonderful career. He had uh, those of you who remember the. World Youth Championships when Portugal did so well in Saudi Arabia, then in uh, Portugal itself. He was a key figure in the first one. Then, of course, he was a key figure in the Juventus victory in the Champions uh, League last season, uh, the season before, rather, and then moving on to Borussia Dortmund and doing the same there. It's an unparalleled record, really, for someone who's still very young, 26, 27. Fabinho trying to put it forward. Palacios can't quite get there. Gets a foot in, but Julius Cesar gets it away. Heinrich here on the left-hand side. Forward goes Andy Muller. Heinrich rushing forward on the inside. There's a push, surely, on Vitor. That's a fairly sparky contest between those two. It's already produced one yellow card and a couple of bad tackles. Bebeto to Clayson. Forward goes... Gonçalves, the defender on the left-hand side. This is a risky business. Vitor. Palacios. Clayson, captain. Fabinho has dropped back to cover for Gonçalves. There's no come back into a more orthodox role. Clayson and Bebeto. Bebeto moves so well, but the tackles are good and tight and hard. Now Vitor on the right-hand side, he's got a bit of space. Ricardinho, good challenge by Firesinger, and the retaliation by the 21-year-old Ricardinho. Nelsinho, who of course coached in Japan uh, very successfully with Verdi Kawasaki, and he was offered the job of national coach here. He claims the, the JFA withdrew it after they'd uh, offered it initially. The JFA say that his demands were too great, they couldn't meet them. So you'll have to work it out for yourself. But the fact is, he's a great coach, he voted in 1995 the best coach in, in Brazil. And he's done well here too. And there's a chance here now for Chapuisa and Helic and popped in by Zork. Zork with a loose ball on the far post and 
Borussia Dortmund take the lead. Well, it was a brilliant move. And Zork on the far post, having done nothing throughout the first 34 minutes of this game, puts the Germans into the lead. Susi Zork, they used to call him because he had such long hair. Now it's uh, Michael Zork because at the age of 35 he's a little bit more conventional. But the goals are just as good. He's the leading appearance holder in the club. He's the second leading goal scorer in the club. He's been with them almost 20 years. But he was helped here by Chapuzar, by the challenge there from uh, Herlich and an easy shot into the back of the net. Well, amazing. I don't know whether Zork has touched the ball more than 20 times in the first 35 minutes, but Zork has put Borussia Dortmund into the lead here. When the best chances in the preceding 34 minutes had gone to Cruzeiro. Heinrich and Müller, Müller doing well here. Palacios to Donizetti, Babetto's offside, he can't put it forward, he's having to hold it up. Fabinho to Vitor. Now what are the Brazilians of Cruzeiro made of? Donizetti nicely back to Ricardinho, Fabinho, this is good, Palacios and uh, Cruzeiro. Were offside. Clayson, close, good play, good control, a lot of it first time, but this was quickly taken by Chapuizar after Muller fed him. First was a miss, the second was a hit. So in there was good play by Muller, by Chapuizar, and finally. The ball put into the back of the net by Zork. Meinsman flag is out for offside, which is quite cruel because it wasn't really interfering with play and he'd come back, but they're in charge. Stefan Reuter fires one in and forward it goes to Chapuizar. Great effort. Superbly played. This is Zork coming to life. Chapuizar controlled under pressure and uh, Zork almost got another one. Donizetti, Vitor. They've had some good play, Cruzeiro, but as a unit, not quite so cohesive as perhaps they could be, which is not surprising. Palacios to Fabinho. This is a nice ball to Babetto. Ford goes Clayson to the middle and easily covered. But Clayson's regained it. Babetto. Oh, there's a nice ball to Fabinho. Now they're squeezing up, but all the German side back in defensive roles here. Vitor. Palacios. Ricardinho. No, it's covered again by Heinrich. And between him and Feisinger, they get it away, but only to Paulo Sosa, nicely done. The Austrian pumps it forward to Müller, and they've got a little bit more arrogance now in their play, the Germans. Not surprising. They stuttered a bit early on, but that goal will give them all the confidence in the world, and there's nothing worse than playing a confident, winning German team. Herlich, Velton and uh, Gonsalves. And to pump a hopeful ball forward, but couldn't get it beyond Gula Cesar. And into trouble there as Vitor does well, but better now offside Donizetti, and he won't get it. A little bit of slackness. He didn't need to have run into that position.
but clearly offside. 39 minutes gone of the first half, and on his other side is trailing by the one goal. Julius Cesar with the free kick. Plays it calmly wide to Heinrich Chapuisar. Oh, it's a difficult one. Miller gets in. Looking a little bit lively now, this Borussia Dortmund side. BVB. The Ballspiel Verein Borussia. One by Reuter and uh, Hellig. Sauser. Müller. Sauser, they're knocking it around well with elegance and arrogance. Zork to Heinrich. Zork gets into the middle. Chapuza. Covered by Vitor, cut out by Stefan Reuter. Gracious me, with a jump. Vitor, they call him a very talented player, but a rash one. He went to Real Madrid on a trial, but they couldn't make any sense out of him, and he soon left. And he does some daft things. That wasn't spectacular. And it uh, leaves. Cruzeiro open to a dangerous situation. But the big goalkeeper Dida is there to pluck it out of the air comfortably. Powerful hit, and Babetta's on his way, but out comes Kloss. And he's done nothing wrong so far. Less than four minutes or so before the half time whistle comfortable situation but not a perfect one for Borussia Dortmund leading by one goal to nil another free kick to Dortmund Palazzo swinging it clear Merle has come back to try a few tricks with space Heinrich no foul and would have been offside anyhow, but well, he was offside. Donizetti. His runs have been a little bit rash on a couple of occasions for an experienced uh, Brazilian international. This is something of a problem now for Cruzeiro. They've got to keep it tight in the remaining three minutes of this first half. They haven't uh, had too much success in the last few months. They're trailing by one goal to nil here. It's very important for them to keep the confidence, but keep it at one nil. Throw in to Cruzeiro. Elevelton. Such a shame we've seen him more in the defensive role here. He's Great attacking player. Now, Donizetti will go across for this, but there's no chance of getting it. Kloss out to Julio Cesar. And Jörg Heinrich. Zork has gone down the left-hand side. Chapuzar is there too. Well, he's done well. And now Chapuzar can get in there. Can he put it back? He should have pulled it back. He had two players to hit, and he went for the near post, which wasn't right. Chapuisan knows that. Good bit of covering by the goalkeeper, but he's free here. Now he's got two players to put it back to, and it would have been dead. But he went for glory and get only a corner. But Haley coming in on this one could cause trouble. Paulo Sousa wins it. Away by Ricardinho, only though to Stefan Reuter. Gosh, that surely was a foul. Gonsalves, Elevelton, nice ball, Elevelton keeps going, this is more like it, Elevelton, beautiful play, can he get it into the middle, it's not a bad one, it's going to be picked up by Palacios, but for the moment the Germans are off the hook, now Clayson, 
Ricardinho. Still there, Palacios. But a lot of Germans back now to cover. Bebeto going for it. Clayson. And it's brought away comfortably by Muller. They were rocking a little bit there, though, when uh, Elivelt got down the left hand side so spectacularly. Muller blocked by Victor. They're coming back in the closing seconds of the first half for Cruzeiro, trailing by one goal to nil. They look menacing on a couple of occasions when they've bro broken quickly. Vitor. But once the Germans get behind the ball, they're a tough nut to crack. Ricardinho and just stopped by another Brazilian, Julia Cesar. Oh, clever stuff. Exhibition stuff almost. Paulo Souza for Herlich to chase. Gonzalez cleverly wins the throw in. And we're now in time added on in this first half, which has had its chances, but only one have gone in. Free kick. We've also had stoppages, so the uh, Spanish referee, Jose Maria Garcia Aranda, 41-year-old sports teacher from Madrid, has a perfect right to add on a little extra. Fabinho. And uh, Levelton looks so good when he's attacking down the left-hand side. Doesn't look so good when he boots it forward like that, though. Paulo Salzo, who, for me, has been the best uh, midfield player in the first half. Muller, who's shown some wonderful touches and almost got away with one there. Vitor fouled as the Spanish referee ends the first half, which has ended very satisfactorily for Borussia Dortmund. With a goal from... Welcome back to the National Olympic Stadium as we prepare for the second half of this 18th Toyota Cup match. They began here in 1980. The current score, as you probably know, is 10 to South American clubs, 7 to European clubs. But it's the European club, Borussia Dortmund, who is leading at the moment. Spanish referee checks with his linesman. And we're off for the start of the second half. Cruzeiro of uh, Belo Horizonte. Distinguished uh, representatives of the state of Minas Gerais. Who've looked talented but rusty. Their last competitive game was November the 8th in the Brazilian Championship. They've got new players and they've certainly got quality but we haven't seen it for consistent spells. And they've also come up against a German goalkeeper who's made two brilliant saves. The Germans, well, they might not be at full strength, but there are no real weaknesses in the side. Although they started fairly slowly, they've now got their noses in front, and that's very, very dangerous for anyone taking on a German team in these circumstances. They weren't the favorites to beat Juventus in the Champions League final in Munich last summer in uh, Germany, but they did it by three goals to one. Goals by uh, Riedler and Ricken, neither of whom, of course, are playing here. Riedler's gone to Liverpool. Ricken is injured and is acting as a uh, television expert for the German network who are covering it here back home. Clayson and uh, Fabinho. Palacios, the Peruvian, had one or two lovely touches, but he's opened it up here for Herlich to Chapuiza. He's beaten comfortably in the air by Vitor, but clearly that means uh, a corner conceded by Cruzeiro. And Borussia Dortmund have always looked dangerous from set pieces. And of course, it was a quick free kick taken by Andy Miller that led to their goal from uh, Michael Zork in the 34th minute. So it's Müller with this corner. Problems for Cruzeiro if they concede another one at this early stage. Goalkeeper's out well, holds it. Good judgment. And there's a bit of space here now for Elivelton to get down that left-hand side. Guy who scored the winner in the Copa Libertadores. Can he do anything spectacular here? Oh, it's a good one. Donizetti. Good, quick challenge. And a corner. 
Paulo Souza saved the day there, no doubt about it. Lovely ball by Eli Belton. Donizet is in. Too late. It's gone for a corner. Now, Gonsalves has come up from the back. So's Vitor. Good punch by Kloss. Eli Belton, spectacular but not totally productive. Kloss coming out and claiming confidently. Herrlich, but only to Fabinho. Oh, straight into the hole for Palacios. Nicely done and offside. Wretched luck for Cruzeiro. Need to get back into this game as quickly as possible. 2 0 down would, I think, be disaster for them with their current record. Palacios. Wide on the right, a lot of space, but somehow he didn't reach. One of the few mistakes he's made in his passing. And he's back to retrieve it partially. Good play by the Germans, acting collectively and getting themselves out of trouble. Salas is taking a bit of a battering. And he loses it again and is a little bit hurt. Now, Eli Belton driving down that left-hand side again. Well won by the Austrian the fire singer. Salves under pressure from Chapuza. And Nelsinho views from the other side of the field. Knowing that this is a really key period. Palacios, Bebeto took a couple of knocks in the first half. What can he produce in the second? Vitor's pushed up from the back. Helix. Uh, Heinrich rather stops him. Oh, bit of space here for Ricardinho. Not deep enough. Away by Feisinger. Fabinho. Vitor loses it, but regains it. I guess the throw in anyhow. Vitor booked along with Muller in the first half. Now, João Carlos under a little bit of pressure from Chapuzano. Now, Gonçalves. Go back to Dida. Vitor under pressure. Good ball for Donizetti against Julio Cesar. A great cross. Just too strong for Berbetto. Two new players almost pulling something out of the bag there. They both agreed that that was a good move and a great run by Donizetti. This is a bright start, though, from Cruzeiro to this second half. Away by Stefan Reuter. Gonsalves controlled quickly, pushed forward quickly. Palacios. They're moving well at the moment, but so are the Germans. His Vitor is good going forward. And forward goes uh, Palacios. Julio Cesar. Uh, Ricardinho, in fact, was the one chasing. Brazilians having a good spell. Ricardinho. Here and Paulo Sousa wants to uh, apologize. No language problems there, of course. Slight problem with the laws. Donizetti back to Ricardinho. Vitor. The better goes wide on the right. And here he is. Vitor keeps going forward. Ricardinho here. Fabinho. Vitor, all the Germans coming back, but not totally all in defensive roles, but enough of them, I would have thought. Vitor, nice little ball in, and comfortably blocked, coolly cleared by Julio Cesar. Powerful challenge there by Stefan Freund. 
Palo Salsa battling hard the Germans to stay in this contest. Free kick to Borussia Dortmund. That relieves the pressure. 11th in the Bundesliga at the moment, not a particularly distinguished position, but it has been worse in the earlier stage of the season where nothing went right for Nevio Scala in his new role here. Took over from Hitzfeld, who has been moved up into sports director's role. Not totally willingly, but uh, moved while he was ahead of the game. Fabinho and Eli Velton. Oh, there's a breakthrough here for Clayson. Clayson up against Stefan Reuter. Into Donizetti. Made a mess of it. For one moment, the door was open. Donizetti uh, battling here, knocked out by Zork, who's coming back in a defensive role. They're going well, though, Cruzeiro, at this moment. They've got to make it count, Donizetti and Julio Cesar. Dumped him onto the, uh, the running track, exactly, but the excess area outside the pitch. Wins the corner. So important for Cruzeiro to get back into this if they're going to make a contest on it. Xiao Carlos and uh, Gonçalves in there. Poor corner from Bebeto. Lucky to get another one. This is a World Cup winner. He won't get back into Zagallo's side with the corners like that. Second attempt. Better one. Away by uh, Heinrich. Oh, and foul by Stefan Reuter. And uh, a yellow card. cards in this contest. Reuter, an experienced enough international to know that uh, he could have pulled out of that one. But the captain didn't, and he's in the Spanish referee's book. Now, Bebeto's taken a couple of knocks. I don't know whether it was on the same ankle. But he hobbles off, so he won't take the free kick. More treatment. Clayson's going to take it. No, he's not. It's the Peruvian uh, Palacios. But again, they're down to 10 men, uh, Cruzeiro. Can they get something back here to get on to even terms? Jao Carlos is in there. Gonçalves is in there. Again, it's a poor one. Again, they're showing rustiness in there, which you wouldn't expect from a side with their professional experience and talent. Vitor. Now, Palacios still dwelt in it too long and allowed Palacios to get in. And he's strong and he's quick and he gets the ball forward well. And they win a free kick there with Zork fouled. And Paulo Salza was also attacked and he's not taking too kindly to it. That's another injured player, which is uh, Ricardinho. That was self inflicted in many ways. is back on the field so it's 11 against 11 one nil to the Schwarz and Gelb the black and yellow of uh, Borussia Dortmund as uh, Andy Muller takes the free kick in goes uh, Herlig punched by Dida Palacios a little knock on Paolo Salza calmly gets it back to give his time. Side plenty of time to clear, but not clear particularly well. That was Reuter on his left foot. Not something for which he won over 60 international caps for. Cut out by Muller. Foul on Paolo Salza. He's getting the treatment, I must say. He's certainly been a danger man in a difficult area. Jörg Heinrich, nicely played. 
to Zork and gets a return. Looking for Muller. Muller again, there's some clever play here. Have they overdone it? They have. <laughs> Muller complains. Well, I think he's got anything to complain about. Feisinger gets in there. At a rate of knots. Gonsalves competing here in a difficult situation. Clever stuff. Almost overdid it. But beautifully done. You wouldn't see many players at any level try that in those circumstances and get away with it. From Corinthians. It's a hard one. The better gets hold of it in the end. He's fouling him. No, he's not hurt again, is he? What is going on? Get off the field, says the Spanish referee, if you want treatment. He's certainly going down for everything. Hobbling away, back into the fray. Well cut out by Stefan Reuter. They're breaking forward now. Paulo Salsa tries to swing one to the right. Not, not good enough. Coverage here by uh, NTV, Channel 4 in Japan, the country's senior commercial station, and distribution by TNTV, based in California. This, of course, is a, a worldwide event now, and despite the plans, paperwork at least, for international club competitions, this, I think, this fixture is pretty secure at the moment, but Russia Dortmund aren't, and great effort. Great save by Klaus as uh, Elibel got down the left-hand side. And uh, Donizetti couldn't quite get there. Vitor. They've been the better side in the first 14 minutes of the second half, though. But still, they trail by one goal to nil. Ricardinho knocking it in. Reuter away. Free kick. Now it's the Germans. Time to look a little bit worried. Roberto was practicing free kicks for some time. The day before yesterday. They've been here a week longer than the Germans. But not from that distance. If he's going to try one from there, it's going to be a difficult one. No, it's a good effort. Dipped into space and... Vitor couldn't quite get there. Likes to take free kicks without a run. And that was pretty confusing for Borussia Dortmund's defence. Just falling short, or too far away from onrushing Vitor. Belo Horizonte, the first planned city in Brazil, the third largest city. This club has the second largest stadium, but they've got a blank score sheet at the moment. They're trailing 1-0 to Borussia Dortmund of uh, Germany, the European champions. And it's uh, throw in to the Germans here. Relieving what has been fairly relentless pressure in the first 15 minutes of the second half. Oh, and it's Zork going to be able to clear that one, or I thought he could, but it's put out for a corner. Up comes Julia Cesar. So too is uh, Wolfgang Feiersinger. No, he's not. He's changed his mind. They're working it out. Paulo Salzer is going up instead. So there are plenty of big guns up there, and they're good at these set pieces. Ehrlich is in there too, Heinrich, goalkeeper out, good judgment. And again, Ellie Velton will break on that left-hand side. That brought problems for Borussia Dortmund earlier in the second half. What about this time? Clayson. Ellie Velton again. Ricardinho. Palacios gets forward into a striking position, but this is Vitor. Palacios on the right-hand side. Ricardinho here. Paulo Sousa got in with a half challenge. And Julio Cesar gets away with it calmly. Big, lumbering figure, but elegant. And a superb pass for Andy Miller. And in the middle is Zork. Miller. 
well, they're still going. Too much. Could have got rid of it earlier. He had support on the right-hand side. Would have been a spectacular goal if he scored, but if is a very big word. Great run. Now he could have given it. Now was the time to square it. He chooses not to, and the defender stuck with him bravely. Ricardinho beginning to pull a few more strings in midfield for Cruzeiro. Eddie Velton gets Stefan Freud. Clayson, the captain. Fabinho. Is he going to try one from a distance? No, didn't even get the pass through. It ganged up on him well. Oh, good play by Stefan Reuter, the captain, coming out of defence menacingly. Paulo Salza swinging it wide beautifully to Jörg Heinrich. There's a bit of space here. Müller lets it go. Herlich puts it over to Reuter. Oh, and Heinrich. And Herlich. Well, that was uh, Herlich who almost got it in. But it was well cleared. And we're about to have a uh, substitution as we analyse why that one didn't quite go in. And it's Palacios who comes off and coming on is Marcelo. There was a little bit of doubt before the game as to whether Marcelo or Palacios would play. But now they're both going to play, but not at the same time. So just a change up front, really. Marcelo wearing 18 for Palacios. Peruvian. So it's more Brazilian lineup at the moment. Ricardinho caught, almost caught in possession. Julius says a powerful header. Again, Paulo Sousa in there with a telling first time ball. Gonzalez lets it go to Fabinho. Billy Belton, one on the left-hand side. How quickly Freud got to him, but he passed it forward sharply to Clayson. Clayson still with it. He needs a bit of support. They're coming forward slowly. Clayson again. Billy Belton on the left-hand side. Fouled. By Feiersinger, the Austrian. They've taken it quickly. A lot of Germans behind the ball, though. Vitor. It's a poor one. Germans push out the defence, they know they've got a bit of time, they can catch their breath. Marcelo <laughs> hasn't had a touch yet. Heinrich doing well to get in there to intercept it. It'll be Borussia Dortmund again, Zork to Palacios up. Heinrich just knocking it around a little bit, making the Brazilians run. Well, we've seen a few clumsy challenges from our friend Vitor before. <laughs> There's another one. No maliciousness, maybe not, but they've conceded uh, a free kick and do those sort of things in the penalty area. And could drop your side in serious trouble. Chapuza, Vitor again. Hey, he gets another yellow card. Of course, he's off. And is that another yellow card? Well, oh, that's two yellow cards and a red is gone, I'm afraid. Well, that was ridiculous. I think it was unfair that he was booked for that challenge. But he had been warned. And really, his side is now in terrible trouble. Booked in the first half for a rash challenge on Heinrich. Booked in the second half for another challenge from behind. And Vitor, such a good player, but such a rash one, is off. They're down to 10 men. And we've had only 22 minutes of the second half. No wonder he looks a little bit aghast. And they conceded a free kick with Chapuzar going in there. 
So it's the 10 men who are down by one goal. That'll be a real story if they get back into this. Well, there's a good crowd here, but it's not a passionate one. They're watching rather than supporting. I think Cruzeiro, if they're down to 10 men, will need a bit of support as the underdog. Great support, of course, for Brazilian football or anything Brazilian in uh, Japan. But down to 10 men, trailing by one goal against the German champions, uh, it's asking a lot. Well, that was the challenge on Chapuisa. Was it bookable or not? But the referee's in charge. If he waves the yellow card for the second time, it can only produce one thing. It might get a little bit rougher later. But it might also spoil it as a contest. They had a good first spell in the second half. Offside against Bebelo, the Cruzeiro team. Then it's turned against them with the sending off of Vitor. The danger is now that their heads will drop. Borussia Dortmund will get another one. And we can all go home. But let's wait and see. Marcelo, I don't think he's had a touch yet. His substitute. As Julio Cesar, the Brazilian at the back for the Germans, pumps it forward. He's punched away by João Carlos, who wasn't in the Copa Libertadores side, as indeed the three, or the three of this back four. Much changed team by Nelsinho. Another free kick. No. Well, Ricardinho did well to get that. Zorp didn't like the way the foot was put in twice. I hope this isn't going to spill over into nastiness this all around. Zorp holds a few records for Borussia Dortmund. Appearance record. He also holds the red card record. But it isn't a big one. Something like three or four. The referee's got to take a firm hand here if we're going to get the entertainment going instead of the aggravation. Fabinho. And that was Marcelo's first touch with the ball had gone out of play. So it hardly counts. So 10 against 11. The black and yellows of Borussia Dortmund leading by one goal to nil. It's a fairly quiet atmosphere here in the National Olympic Stadium at the moment, but overall in Japan, it's pretty thriving and optimistic. They've qualified for the World Cup finals, of course. They're joint hosts with the career in uh, 2002. So there's a lot happening in the football scene, and this is just part of it. it came long, long before the J League was formed. And is well established, this event, as a crown puller. Now, Bebeto, can you get the decent cross in? Coming to Bebeto again. They're marking up, they're queuing up. They never get by the bulk of Julius Cesar. Oh, the rebound almost played into Cruzeiro's hands. Sort couldn't stop it. They've gone down a gear or two, Borussia Dortmund. They haven't got the pace or the pattern of the first half. Could the ten men do something spectacular here? Ricardinho, as slight as ever, but as busy as ever. the Italian coach hurling some fairly strong German words at his team at the moment. Free kick. They're stepping it up a gear, the ten men. Gonsalves. Donizetti, Donizetti coming again. Donizetti still going. 
pained look from Bobeto. I don't think he could expect a pass there. He was tightening him up, but Donizetti came through on that one well. Good drive. Oh, Bobeto might have been free square. Well played by Chapuza. And uh, Ehrlich. Well away by Gonzalez. Almost into his own net. Goalkeeper helped him out. But Muller was waiting to strike. Eddie Belton on the left hand side. You'll need to do two men's work in this situation. They're playing one short at the back. Now that uh, Vitor is a mere spectator. Clayson has dropped back into a defensive role, but not in Vitor's role. It's going to be interesting to see how they cope with it. Not doing too badly at the moment. Still in the game, and here goes Marcelo. Again, the goalkeeper rescues Borussia Dortmund. Good through ball. Poor marking by Dortmund. But here they come again. Stefan Reuter to Paulo Salza. Reuter goes for the free ball. Good cross. Herlik got it, but not strong enough. It's Heinrich to bang it back in again. Herlik leaps again, falls spectacularly, no foul. And Eli Velton is in possession. He came here with uh, Sao Paulo when they'd won the Copa Libertadores and performed in the Toyota Cup, but he was only on the bench at the time. I think we're about to have another substitution. And it's going to be possibly a Swiss coming off and a Dutch forward coming on, but we'll have to wait and see in a minute. Chapuza to Heinrich. Herrlich coming over, working hard. Somebody's going to go in a minute. There's a substitution. It's going to be one of these two. It's going to be Chapuza. Muller complains a little bit. But the change is now going to be made by uh, Borussia Dortmund with half an hour of the second half gone. Chapuza, the Swiss, who played a big part in that cross. Then to Zorn's goal comes off, and on comes Harry Deschevier, interesting character. He's uh, Dutch, he's only just joined them. And he's almost getting involved uh, in the very first moment. Deschevier, when we get a look at him, he's played with Freiburg, there he is, no, almost, as João Carlos intercepted well. Played with Freiburg, fell out with the coach, went back to Holland, and here he is back again. But this is Eli Belton, this is a great run, but it's good covering. And that was uh, Zork, goal scorer, who covered there. And this is looking more like it, Muller. Should open up these spaces against the 10 men eventually. Muller's cross, Deschevier underneath it. Oh, great effort! What a first strike for the Dutchman, and what a save! Good deep cross beyond the far post on the volley. Good save. Chevier is the coach of Freiburg can uh, support he fell out with him this is why he disappeared back into Holland here's the corner and a dangerous one oh great save by Dida and from that man again De Chevier he's right in the thick of things Heinrich good play outnumbered in the end Palasalsa gives it away, strangely. A run on the right by Clayson. Still 1-0, the 10 men can still do it. But they're all over the place. The game's opened up. 
well stabbed away by Julius Cesar. There's much more sparkle in the game now. The pattern, as you can probably see, is disintegrating. Two tired sides, one with ten men. Tired for the obvious reason. And Muller going by his man, brought down. I only thought that's a yellow card. It wasn't an accidental foul. But I think Fabinho's got away with it. But 1 0, they're hanging on. Another goal, the 10 men will be gone. Palasauza going forward. Muller looked for a quick chip. Big fellas over the far side. Jao Carlos. Freund is in there. Foul. Free kick. The danger over. The 10 men can still do it. In Japan, of course, uh, if the scores are level after 90 minutes, they go into the golden goal decider. Here, that's not the case. We go into extra time if it's level after 90 minutes, and then if it's level after the extra time period, there's penalties. Oh, there's a chase on here. But the big Brazilian. Julio Cesar gets there first. Now there's much more space for both sides to play. Surely that's going to bring another goal. This is Müller. De Chevier over the far side again. Oh, he's really over the far side. That wasn't a good one for Müller at all. De Chevier nudged into kicking that one off. Craftily done. A bit like croquet there. Good play. Ricardinho. Foul. Another substitution by Borussia Dortmund. And a good chance to see somebody we might see in the World Cup. Off comes Zork, the goal scorer. And on comes the American international, Jovan Kirovsky. So Kirovsky at uh, 21, replacing the 35 year old Michael Zork. Kirovsky, formerly with Manchester United. Making a bit of a mark here in the Bundesliga and will enjoy this opportunity of just a few minutes, perhaps, a little bit more than 10 minutes if the score stays like this, of this 18th Toyota Cup final. Well, Cruzeiro have much had much longer to acclimatize offside that was a little bit dodgy though Cruzeiro have been in much longer than Borussia Dortmund and they've played far fewer games which means as we've seen they're a bit rustier in some circumstances but overall they should be able to stay the pace longer I'm not absolutely certain whether the Germans who are remarkable in their fitness and their ability to play game after game whether they've actually settled in enough. They haven't been here very long. And the travel has been hard for them. But they're leading by one goal to nil. That should encourage their legs quite a bit. Julius Cesar. But they haven't got the sparkle they showed in the first half, certainly. Donizetti outnumbered. Oh, not such a good one from Kloss, who's nevertheless had a good game. Carlos Salza. Kirovsky down that right hand side. And here's De Chevier. Heinrich, a lot of space here now. They should be able to do something. Muller. And Kirovsky with a first time shot. That almost made the name for the American. Andy Muller feeding him very astutely and quickly. Nice effort. Didn't quite hit it cleanly, but it was on target. Now, Muller with space, surely he's going to make this tell in a moment. Heinrich, Kirovsky needs a bit of support. He's got Heinrich just behind him. Give it to him quickly. He made up his mind too slowly and ran it out. That was a waste. A little bit anxious there, the American. bit different from San Diego Nomads, his first club. Now, the 
Beto not even bothering to challenge there. Referee getting in the way of Palosazo. Marcelo, nice ball to Elivelton. But Beto turning. Referee again gets in the way. And it's Borussia Dortmund who break Stefan Freud. Herrlich, good play, and his mother. Oh, he was almost through. I think the crowd want him to score. And that's a yellow card for Heiko Herrlich. Late challenge on Gonzalez. Well, the 10 men will have to hurry up. We've got seven minutes perhaps on our clock with whatever the Spanish referee wants to add on. It's 1 0. They could still do something. But they've had some chances now, the Germans, to wrap the whole thing up. Muller orchestrating things. Deschevier goes forward. Here's uh, Kirovsky. Forces a corner. Muller doing all the pushing and pulling. And the fresh legs of Kirovsky and Deschevier causing most of the problems. Another corner. Is this going to be where Borussia Dortmund put Cruzeiro out of their misery? Julia Cesar is in there. It's a good deep one. It's so deep that Eddie Velton can race away and attack. Not for long, not with Paulo Souza there. Now, He's back again, there's wide open spaces. And it's wrapped in by Heiko Herrlich. It's 2-0 and it's all over. And they know it. Sad faces from the bench of Cruzeiro. They made a gallant show of it in the second half, but down to 10 men, they broke away. Suddenly, Paolo Sousa had pinched it, crossed it to the near post, low and hard, and there was uh, Herrlich to knock it in. He looks at his watch, but he knows that with six minutes less left, they've won it. Great ball, lovely touch, goalkeeper couldn't get there. Paolo Sousa with Müller, who have been the best players on the field. Herrlich with a touch which has put Cruzeiro of Brazil out of this game. And now they should be able to knock it around and perhaps make it 3-0. But I don't think the end result is going to change much. Ehrlich, the goal scorer. Too optimistic. Well, it's such a pity, though, for Eli Belton that he was caught there. But that was a superb bit of interception by Paolo Salza, and then fired a superb ball in. Well, you can play around with it a bit, but two 0 looks pretty good from here against the eleven men. Feisinger, Heinrich, Heinrich coming again, they're giving it away, Ricardinho fouled. And there we can see on the stadium clock, we have so little time left, and Nelsinho knows that I think he's lost his battle. And I wouldn't say that the sending off of Vitor was the key moment. He certainly didn't do his side any favours. Oh, nice ball for Ellie Belton, but it's comfortably covered by Stefan Freund. Goes wide for Kloss. Intercepted by Fabinho. Foul. Says the Spanish referee. And I think they know their time is up, Cruzeiro. And that's the goal that finished it. But they're still coming forward. Miller to Herrlich. To Chevier on down that right hand side. There's a bit of space for Herrlich. 
controlled it well enough. Now, Donizetti. Donizetti. Foul. Apologies. <laughs> the dirty deed is done. So, apologies are not worth a light. I suppose that shows the attitudes of the Germans. They're leading by two goals to nil. There are comparatively little time left, but still they're prepared to chop an opponent as he goes through. Not to be recommended, but we've seen it happen before. So Borussia Dortmund, never champions of Europe before. Never here before, of course. Only the second German club to compete in this competition, though like being the first to win it. Oh, gracious me. In service. He got him. No love lost between those two. And he's making his mark while he has time, which is a little less than two minutes on our clock. Palasalza, good run. Salza, clever stuff, but not to anybody of his own side. Marcelo. Donizetti. Fabinho going in circles, and they can have as much possession as they like because the seconds are ticking away, and the Germans are leading by two goals to nil. Palasalza, down the middle goes uh, Herlich, and here comes Palasalza himself. De Chevier on the right-hand side, his mother, elegant ball, Heinrich can pull it back and make it three, he's got tons of time. Gonsalve gets it away, they're over-elaborating. Doesn't really matter. Gonsalves again, saving the day spectacularly, less than a minute on our clock. Is there going to be any sort of a consolation for Crucero? None. Close the door there. Stefan Reuter. Herrlich. Uh, Heinrich, rather. Heinrich has stopped running on the left-hand side. He's just hanging about in the middle of the field looking at the clock. Jao Carlos gets it away. But we're in the last 10 seconds of official time. And time has run out. For Cruzeiro. Herlich. Now Kirovsky. Heinrich. Palasaza. Oh, he got a kick late. Time added on as Borussia Dortmund just played around, wait for the Spanish referee to blow his whistle, and the celebrations will begin be playing in the Bundesliga this weekend. That game has been postponed. The next game is in the Champions League. They've already qualified for the quarterfinals of that. And here's Muller going for the third. Reuter and uh, De Chevier. Palasalza. Muller coming again. What a combination those two have been. De Chevier, Palasalza. Great triangle. Hooking it wide. And the flag is up for offside. Well, there have been some great characters in this game. Muller was expected to perform a few miracles. He certainly pulled a few strings. But Beto, they were hoping, were, was going to do things for his side. It hasn't been the case. He's been very quiet. Hardly a shot on goal. But Beto there, beaten by the powerful figure of the Brazilian Julio Cesar. He comes forward again. He's been dominant at the back. No foul. For the minute and a, t a half of time added on in this 18th Toyota Cup final. Here they come again. Is there a consolation for them? The Beto to the Velton. It's a corner. They can still do something. I don't think they can change the scoreline with any significance. Change the result, perhaps we should say. But Gonsalves is up there. Del Carlos is up there. Into time added on. Can Cruzeiro get something from this? Del Carlos the header, and it's desperately wide. 
they're tired and it's pretty well finished blow the ref the whistle referee says uh, Muller he likes to control things in all departments referee from Madrid checking his watch again Kloss who's had a good game in good circumstances as the whistle goes for the end of the 18th Toyota Cup final and it's Borussia Dortmund of Germany the winners by two goals to nil a goal in each half they were deserved winners here but for one moment or two in the second half the resilience of Cruzeiro took the game to them presentations are going to be made by representatives of the Toyota Corporation by representatives of the UEFA and by the JFA so first of all that's the uh, Toyota Cup the one with the legs is the Intercontinental Cup that's coming from Jean Forte Fayard of the UEFA and Shichiro uh, Toyota, the chairman of the Toyota Motor Company, and Mr. Hiroshi 